Hey guys, today we're unboxing the Zion Smooth X. We're gonna just show you what's around. There's the Zion logo. Let's just open it up with this tool right here. And we're almost done with that. That's some thick plastic, although that knife is very sharp. So after I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go show you what the box itself looks like. There's a one year warranty in India that you get. You open the box up and we get one big package with CPE 7 written on it. I don't know what that is. That's probably some kind of biodegradability. I'm just showing you what's inside. It's a nice black case. It does look like it is gonna be a hard case, but it's actually very soft. It's also very smooth and I feel like good quality, but it's not protective enough. It will break, literally. It's very easy to break it because it's very, very soft. But if you're just keeping it all on a table, it's fine. The zipper is very good quality. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break off. Then we get a USB-A to USB-C cable to charge it up. And we get some pamphlets, um, mostly in Chinese. Uh, we get a service card and we get a manual. The manual is not very helpful, although it is in a lot of languages and some tasty stuff that we're not supposed to eat. After that, let me just go back and put the stuff back inside. And after that is done, let me show you one of the two packages. So this is actually the bigger package and this one comes in with the actual gimbal itself. This is the tripod stand that we get. It's not very big and it's not very steady because it is very lightweight. But for like small uses, a few seconds, you can put it on that. Although I would not recommend that. I just wanted that onto my tripod itself, which is the Digitech 520 BH. Now you can see the tripod, it's pretty long. And we take off that sticker. After that, we just mount it on just to show you what it looks like. Although it's not steady at all and I would not recommend using it. All right, so now I'm just playing around with locking and unlocking the gimbal. That's pretty simple. And spinning that because that's the most fun part when you have a mobile gimbal. The clip is actually not as tight as I thought. I thought it would literally pop off my phones. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, guys.